Kane on the phone for you. You're against Probably. the uh, you're against the uh, Iran deal. Have you read it? Yeah, I have, and I have uh, uh, quite a few notes on it that I've written an article on. It's been published over the weekend, and I'll be at the rally at Times Square on Wednesday from five thirty to seven thirty. I think the deal with Iran will spell disaster for the Middle East. And uh, from my perspective, when I look at the money that's going to be released, I think Iran will not or cannot be trusted and will use it to fund Hamas and other terrorist groups that they fund in the Middle East well, and you abroad. You don't believe the status quo was working and Iran was secretly developing nuclear weapons. And now we have an agreement. And as the president says, you need these agreements with our enemies, not with our friends. What's the alternative to a diplomatic solution and a button-down agreement where every pathway to a nuclear bomb is eliminated? Well, that's not going to happen because uh, if you track uh, the Iranians from 1979, uh, we've been at war with them uh, since that time. They cannot be trusted. They're very smart. They're very clement or clever. They'll use diplomacy to their advantage, not to ours. They will not abide by any inspections whatsoever, and they will continue to strive to be the hegemonic power of the Middle East. Now, others in the Middle East understand that. And I'll tell you, Alan, when the Russians and the Iranians and the United Nations and the State Department and the White House agree on something, I'm very wary of that because well, I don't trust any of them at this well, point. Well, if we're not going to have a diplomatic solution, we're not going to have an agreement. What's the alternative? Well, we're going to have to continue to uh, look at the uh, threat uh, that Iran poses throughout the world. Uh, Israel certainly knows what it is. Israel could well launch a uh, attack. Would you support that? Rehearsed. Do you want Israel to take action? Yes, I would like to see them take action. Against so you would Iran. like to see Israel bomb Iran? Take out the terror targets that they already have listed, some 75 targets in a, what we call a 72-hour blitz. Would you like That's the United the States to participate? Site. Should the United States be also involved in bombing Iran? Well, I think they should support the Israelis because we should re support the Israelis uh, to the nth degree over there. They are our allies. Iran is a known enemy of the United States. And uh, from that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, Obama and the State Department carry are aiding and abetting uh, an enemy of the United States, which is a treasonous act under the Constitution. Right, so I just want to be clear here. You don't want a diplomatic solution. You want a war. You'll get no diplomatic solution. It, it's not a reality if you understand the Iranians. And I've worked with the Iranian opposition now for some 12 so war years. So war is the only option? Well, uh, it's up to Iran. If they continue to build a nuclear capability and support international terrorism, then you need a military option. That will stop them. Well, this is supposed to stop that. I guess you don't agree that it will. But General, I, I, don't think I, I thank you I very don't trust much. Them. I thank you, sir, for being with us. Thanks so much. Okay, Alan. I'm Alan thank Combs. You. We thank uh, General Vallely, and thank you for watching.